Hey guys, Silence Zero here. Welcome to another Uta Macross Gacha video. As you can see, we are not currently in the game just yet, but we are on the Japanese Uta Macross wiki page for the gacha that is currently going on, which is Min Mei's birthday step up gacha. Why are we here? Basically, we want to check out all the five star plates available within the gacha itself. And to see actually whether it's worthwhile to um, toss in your singing stones to pull any of the steps currently available. Alright, so I've actually opened up tabs for all the Min Mei episode plates here. We're going to take a look and see whether any of Min Mei's plates are actually worthwhile in terms of um, pulling. So we have the first one here, which is the most recent one. Yep. Okay, and it's of course a blue element plate. It's 6 star uh, evolution version, has a total of 3416 points, focusing on voice and a bit of charm. Alright, so it's center skill, uh, units total will gain 20% up. So boosting stats like total, pretty useful when it comes to high score challenges. So I guess the, um, I would say the skills rank would probably be around A because 20% up isn't exactly a lot. Um, active skill, for 20 seconds, well, you will have an easier time tapping notes. So once again, this episode plate is more towards uh, mission completion. Basically, maybe if you want to perfect full combo a song and you're having time getting the timing correct for certain parts of the song, this active skill will definitely help you a lot. 20 seconds is a pretty long duration. Um, yeah. And for its life skill, at the 30 second mark, for 7 seconds, your score is increased by 80% up. Alright, so it has a decent um, life skill. Not the best duration as we have said before. 7 seconds is very low, uh, or rather a very short duration as compared to the older episode plates that actually has a 14 second duration with the same amount of percentage boost. Alright, so 4 divas equipable for these uh, this particular episode plate. So let's move on to the next one. So far, Min Mei doesn't have any fantastic act, uh, center skill or active skill just yet with the first episode plate. Let's take a look at the second one to see whether it's actually um, any better compared to the first one. This one is a hard element plate. 3425. At least the total score is definitely better with an average score on all three um, point types, so voice and charm. Alright, and of course the center skill units total will be increased by 20% up. So no difference uh, no difference compared to center skill as for the first plate. Alright, active skill, life recovery of 50%, definitely an S rank for the active skill um, because 50% is the highest recovery amount that you can actually obtain from any episode plate as of current uh, releases. But, as of... Uh, High score challenges, so far Min Mei's plate have no active skill that boosts percentage in score, which is kind of sad. Um, okay, so life skill, at the 30 second mark, for 7 seconds, your score is boosted by 80% now. So it's exactly the same life skill as the first element plate, it's just that this one is of a hard element, um, and of course the active skill is more to a recovery. So, so far, two of Min Mei's plate are towards mission clearing but both plates at least do support in the live se uh, section of the diva setup all right so for this one there's also another hard element plate 3143 definitely not the best total score um so far focuses on soul and charm 1255 it's not the best focus score but considering that it has two types of status that is being focused on uh yeah i guess the value balance is there but the total value is pretty low which is kind of sad center skill all right your heart element plates total will be increased by 30 percent up now this center skill does help in terms of high score challenges but sadly to say because of its focus on only one specific type of plates um, unless you are playing on a love element type or a heart element type song, this center skill is pretty redundant. 
active skill for 20 seconds your damage is reduced by half now once again min may uh, loses in terms of active skill um, usefulness um it so far all her episode plates the three that we've just gone through all had to do with mission clearing so i guess if you want to use Min Mei as a main diva, she is definitely uh, most beneficial when it comes to the second event of the month, which is the one we are currently going through, which is the Kuji style event, or aka some of you guys know it as the mission style event. Um, life skill, at the beginning of the 30 second mark, for 12 seconds, your score is increased by 50% up. Now this plate, however, is a total bomb in terms of usefulness because even uh, even though it's Min Mei which is the first diva in all Macross universe this episode plate um, do take note this episode plate is one of the first few episode plates uh, released for the game um, yeah so you can see that it is lacking in terms of usefulness already so this plate if you do get it I feel very sorry for you um, it is definitely not worth in terms of usage as of um, this current era of Utai Macross um, but if you guys are Limin Mei fans I will definitely feel very happy for you because it's always nice to obtain um, a full HD clear image of the episode plates of your uh, favorite diva alright so tossing this episode plate aside let's move on to the next one this also is an old episode plate um, also of a heart element Min Mei does have a lot of pink episode plates though um, Total score 3120. As you can see, the older plates all have a very low total score. Focusing on Soul, not the best focus because the new modern episode plates, the main focus do hit above 2000 right now. So, as you can see, the older plates are definitely lacking in terms of usefulness already. Um, so, yeah, if you guys actually um, draw the old episode plates, I kind of feel sorry for you guys. Uh, I myself, if I do get the old episode plates from the gacha itself, I do feel hurt <laughs> in terms of like, um, oh goodness, I saved so much singing stones only to get something worthless. Or if I actually spend physical money, it's going to hurt even more. So, <laughs> yes, guys. Um... Be, be smart about which gacha you pull, especially when you're spending real-life cash. Um, that's what my videos are here to help you, um, g I guess, sort out your f emotions or your thoughts on whether to spend singing stones or not. Uh, if you guys went ahead and pulled the gacha before watching my video, ooh, I'm so sorry that it took so long to actually release this video because I had to end work before heading home to do the recording. And all the editing and stuff. So guys, <laughs> I'm so sorry about it for being late uh, on the release of this video. Um, Alright, so active skill for this episode plate. Life recovery 50% up. Uh, so definitely one of the best healing um, active skills. So uh, we have two Min Mei plates that do have the max percentage of healing capabilities. Alright, life skill. At the 100 combo mark for 14 seconds, your score is boosted by 80%. Now, now, in terms of life skill, this episode plate is definitely better than the, even the newer ones for Min Mei because of the 40, 14 seconds duration. Um, yeah, even though the total score is kind of lacking, but let's say, for example, if this episode plate does ever get secret boards unlocked, and having the secret notes filled with the lucky stones, the total percentage, even though being low, but because of the life skill percentage boost and the duration, the secret notes are definitely going to be very beneficial in terms of the long-term duration that this episode plate has. So this old episode plate, even with a plus 25 luck bonus and all its secret notes filled, this plate might still stand a chance to defeat or rather out um, out you out, how do you say become more useful than the current modern episode plates out there um, especially if you haven't gotten those new episode plates unlocked with a secret box uh, secret boards maxed out uh, yeah guys so all right let's take a look at the next one. Alright, this is another old episode plate. As you can see, 
the total value is getting lower. Um, focusing on charm and voice. Um, and of course, its center scale unit's voice increases by 60%. Ah, now, this um, is a very specific episode play as well. Because if, let's say, if, for example, you're playing a song um, that you want to gain a high score on, and the song uses voice as its main point system, I guess this episode play is definitely very useful as a center. But sadly to say, because of its life, or rather its active skill, its life recovery skill is not going to help you in terms of high score. So none of Min Mei's plates that we have currently gone through from this current birthday step up uh, banner has anything to do with high score challenges, guys. All of Min Mei's plates have been only mission clearing types. So if you are a Min Mei lover and you're playing with Ha Macross, I'm so sorry, but so far, Min Mei is on a disappointing side in terms of um, achieving high score challenges. But she does have decent um, life skill support, so I guess Min Mei uh, is a support diva all the way through, unless you're using her to clear missions. Or maybe to try and clear your um, player ranks or perfect full combos or full combos, that kind of thing. Yeah, so let's talk about the life skill before we move on to take a look at the rest of the episode plates that are available in her step up gacha. Alright, at the 65 second mark for 10 seconds, well, basically you have an easier time tapping notes. So once again, well, this is the only episode played so far within the whole gacha banner that Min Mei has a different life skill as compared to the rest. The rest have always been score boosting ones, but this one is more of a mission clearing life skill. So I guess if you're playing um, the current event right now, this episode played, this very old episode played, um, its life skill probably will benefit you in terms of um, perfecting full combo the song or maybe even trying to get a full combo for the extreme mission um, for full combo yeah but you know because of its lacking in total score the episode play is not gonna do you very good in terms of high score challenges um, but luckily this event there is none like that okay guys um, let's close this tab we're gonna take a look at the rest of the remaining episode plates that's available um, within the step up gacha itself and to see whether it is still worthwhile to pull um, the oops <laughs> whether it's still worthwhile to pull the step up gacha um, so far it's looking kind of grim um, and even though we've we've seen all these episode plates before what we are currently looking at these are all very old episode plates so Unless you're a collector of Uta Macross, that means you want to collect every single type of episode plate there is. Um, from the looks of it, uh, it doesn't seem good. You, From my current opinion, uh, before going through the remaining of the episode plates, my current opinion is give this Step Up Gacha a miss. Alright, let's see whether I will change my opinion after looking through the rest of the episode plates. Um, yeah, so let's see Freya's current um, episode plate that is in this banner. 3440, even though this is a very old plate, this is one of Freya's highest total score episode plates. Um, well balanced all round, which is pretty good. Units total will be increased by 30% up. So as you can see, this boost here already beats all of Min Mei's center position skills. 30% um, up as compared to Min Mei's. Min Mei's has gone 20. So that's kind of sad. Active skill for 20 seconds. Well, basically you have an easier time um, tapping notes. Oh, this is fantastic, which is fantastic. Yeah, so this is one of Freya's best mission clearing episode plates, I suppose. 20 second duration to help you in and tapping notes plus a very a pretty decent high boost in total skill which is fantastic all right let's take it to the life skill though life uh when it goes below 80 percent you have a recovery of 18 percent so life skill this life this episode plate is uh is a bummer in life skill support so i guess it's more of a i guess let's see it's more of a Mission clearing episode plate just like Min Mei's. So yeah, but with a very decent um, center skill. 
and total score. So this puts Freya's plate bet <laughs> way above the rest of Min Mei's plate right now. Um, but in terms of Freya's plates alone, this plate for Freya is not the best. So with that in mind, let's move on. Alright, we have Rina and Makina's episode plate. The worst total score we've seen so far, focusing on voice and charm. It is a very old episode plate, so what can we expect? So units support increases by 30% up. Now, if you're still unfamiliar with what the support skill is, or rather the stat is, it's basically the points that you use to defeat an enemy during Valkyrie attack phase uh, within the life. So, yeah boosting 30% up so I guess um, songs that have um, enemies with longer or uh, bigger HP amounts you probably need a support boost all right active skill for seven seconds your combos do not break now this is not the best active skill out there seven seconds is a very short duration especially when it comes to combo breaking this is the worst active skill uh, out there sadly to say um, and considering that it's a six star episode plate yeah this plate is looking the worst of the worst as of now <laughs> life skill for at the 65 second mark for 10 seconds well you have an easier time tapping notes not the best as well because well, even Freya's plate is looking better than this current one. And this episode plate only is equipable on three different divas. Which is not the most acceptable because the bare minimum so far we've seen in all the episode plates, four divas are actually equipable of that particular episode plate. But this one has only three, which is very, very sad. Alright, let's move on to the next one because there are a lot of episode plates to talk about. Um, Cheryl Gnomes, what about my star? Total 3,211, not the best, well it's pretty average, below average I guess, but it does have a high focus on soul, alright, so I guess if you need it for um, songs that focus on soul to get points, I guess this play is definitely useful. Units, soul increases by 60% up, so definitely it's looking towards a high score achievement episode plate, especially for songs on the yellow plus that it uses the soul factor. Alright, active skill, well, 7 seconds, your combos do not break. So, the active skill ruins the entire episode plate with an awesome center skill and an awesome uh, focus on the soul. Well, the active skill just ruined the entire plate. Alright, let's take a look at the life skill for at the 40 second mark. For 12 seconds, your score is boosted by 50% up. So, it has a decent... Uh, duration time but sadly to say the percentage boost is very low um, well it is an old episode plate so I guess back then when the game started 50% was pretty awesome right right now we have 80% and even 100% on episode plates for live skill so this plate is definitely a pass all right Mikumos it's showtime Pretty well-known episode plate in the past as a very useful episode plate. Let's see whether it stands the test of time. Um, 3,136, not the best total high score focusing on voice and a bit of charm. So as you can see, the focus on voice is not the highest as compared to Cheryl's previous plate. Um, unit total, 30% up. Pretty decent center skill. Alright, active skill for 10 seconds, your score is increased by 100% up. So even as an old episode plate, its active skill boost is pretty awesome at 100% up, but the duration period is kind of lacking as compared to modern episode plates. 10 seconds is pretty short, but I guess, like I said, this episode plate was pretty outstanding in the past when it was first released. So Will it stand the test of time? Let's take a look at the life skill. At the 45 second mark for 10 seconds, well, you have an easier time tapping note. So it's, even its life skill is pretty useful. So overall, so far we've seen, this episode hey, is the only one that's actually worth pulling so far from this step up gacha, guys. So yeah, okay, let's move on to the next one. Ranka's plate. This is also one of Ranka's best episode plates. I guess, um, even though it's pretty old. Alright, total score 3,263, focusing on charm and a bit of voice. Units total 30% up, so pretty decent, considering that it's an old episode plate. 
Active skill, life recovery of 30% up. So not the best life recovery skill. So I guess this episode play is more of a life support skill. Let's take a look at the skill. 35 second mark, 10 seconds, your score is boosted by 20% up. Huh! Now I really wonder why this episode play was very sought after in the past. Its life skill is pretty pathetic. Um... It only lasts for 10 seconds, maybe because of the duration. Back then, I guess 10 seconds was pretty long. But 20% up in score, that is very, very low. Why did people want this episode played? <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe because of its charm value. But, you know, char I guess 1,718 points was very high in the past. Uh, back then, I guess they didn't see the light of day of uh, maybe a 2,000 point um, stat. Or maybe even 1008 stat. Um, its unit total does have a pretty, or rather its center skill does have a pretty decent percentage boost as well. Hmm, but its life recovery, there are better older plates out there that has better life recovery. So I really don't understand why some of the Japanese would love to obtain this episode plate. Uh, I don't know, maybe because blue element plates didn't really have a lot of. Um, life support back then maybe i don't know i i don't really go through all the episode plates um just to make sure and compare it's there's too many it's just tiring okay let's move on so so far <laughs> mikumo's it's showtime is the only one that's looking up to standard to worth to pull um this episode plate however might might come in as the next best thing i guess so total score 3057 focusing on soul and a bit of a voice. Active, uh, sorry, center skill. The Inochi uh, element plates, or rather the, not plates, uh, <laughs> life element songs. Songs, it says here, songs right next to the element type. Um, when you play a, a life element song, or rather the blue element songs, your unit's total will be increased by 35%. Up. So 35% boost is a very high number as compared to all the old episode plates. So its center skill is definitely looking up to standard, but because it focuses only on a particular song type, that might be a bit of a downer. Active skill, for 5 seconds, your score is increased by 70% up. So as compared to Mikomo's, 70% up is pretty awesome. But a duration period of only 5 seconds? That's kind of sad. So I guess it's not meant to be used as an active skill. Uh, let's take a look at the live skill. Maybe it's a live support episode plate. Alright, so when your life is at 45% and below, you recover 80% up. So, <sighs> Okay, so, so far, this episode plate really gave me a roller coaster ride in terms of expecting something greater. But... It's not looking good. Uh, even with the 35% up in the center skill, its active skill, uh, which is below average, and its life skill, which is decent, makes this overall episode plate um, pretty below average, I would say. <laughs> so, but it is definitely better than Ranka's uh, episode plate that is available here. Huh. <laughs> okay, uh, let's move on. Okay, Milin's episode play. I for one for know for a fact that this episode play is pretty useful. I have this uh, as well, and I've been using it quite often when it comes to element, uh, star element or yellow element, um, high score challenges. So three thousand sixty five, um, not the best total score. Focuses on voice and a bit of charm. Center skill, units total be increased by 30% up. So a pretty decent center skill. For 10 seconds, your score is boosted by 100% up. So let's... it's it, Milin's plate here is almost on par, or rather it's about on par. Uh, we haven't gone through the life skill, so we can't really uh, say for sure whether it's equally on par with Mikumo or not. But so far, the center and active skill alone is on par with Mikumo's It's Showtime. Alright, so let's take a look at life skill, life... Below 15% up, recover 18% of HP. So <laughs> it is pretty much a duplicate of Mikumo's It's Showtime, but in the yellow uh, element format. So we have two episode plates that's only worth getting from this current birthday step up gacha of Min Mei, which is very sad considering that Min Mei is the star of the show for this gacha. 
but none of her episode plates meet up the mark in terms of usefulness. I mean, if you are just aiming for episode plates um, that belong to Min Mei, yes, um, go ahead and pull the gacha. It is probably one of the best times to obtain Min Mei's plate the easiest. Um, but sadly to say, if you're just pulling for new episode plates to be used for maybe future gameplay or even to play um, better in your future plays, this step up gacha is down the gutter. Do not <laughs> spend singing stones on this birthday step up gacha. I, I give you my advice. Uh, I know it's a bit late in terms of uh, sending out advice on this step up gacha. This gacha has already been out for more than six hours, but uh, you can't blame me, guys. I've been at work since the gacha banner came out, so I only can do this video right after when I end at work. Um. So anyway, guys. We have seen the episode plates for the step up gacha that is currently going on. Okay, I think there's one more. So we all know this plate. We don't have to say how useful this is. Any of Kanami's plate so far that has the item note at the end of the episode plate. Now, yes, do take note that I have not gone through any of the item notes on all the um, episode plates that are featured in this current step up gacha because the only thing the only information that is not available on the Japanese wiki page is the special item note attached to the episode plate itself there is no information here so the only way you can actually see that information is if it is featured in the gacha banner itself so but currently on the gacha banner for the step up Gacha for me, uh, Min Mei's birthday. It's only the first two Min Mei episode plates that were featured there, so you only can see the special notes attached to those two episode plates. So, I know for a fact that this Kaname plate, or rather all of Kaname's plates, um, that are major players in any of the Utama Cross events, all have special notes attached to them. Um, and Kaname is very well known um, for having item notes attached to the um, standard notes. Um, if you don't know what item notes are, they are basically the notes with the blue crystals in them where you tap them to get your episode plate resources, your standard episode plate resources um, that you get at the end of every life. So guys, yeah. Episode plates that have item notes are pretty useful when it comes to ticketing events at the beginning of the month. Alright, so we have gone through all the episode plates that are 5 stars within uh, Min Mei's Step Up banner here. Um, guys, I'm going to do the Step Up um, banner pool with my brand new account. I managed to pull out 1,700 scene stones at the last minute um, because of the last video. I had to accidentally use another 500 singing stones so I was definitely lacking in terms of singing stones to do this um, step up gacha banner and I had to go and rush through to play all the songs to obtain all the free singing stones uh, I was actually five, four, uh, around 400 singing stones away from 1007 so <laughs> you can imagine how frantic I was trying to obtain all the singing stones that I was short of. I had to do all the Valkyrie operation missions. I had to do all the um, easy, normal, very hard, hard songs on the brand new account just to get that uh, those extra singing stones to, to do this uh, gacha video. So guys, uh, we're going to switch over to the Uta Macross game right now and do the step up pools. <laughs> I'll <laughs> see you soon. Alright guys, so we are here currently within Uta Macross itself and you can see that we are at step 1 of Min Mei's birthday gacha and I have 1700 singing stones ready to do this just for you guys. Alright, so let's see how well this new account does. Um, sadly to say, I won't be keeping this new account. Um, I do have plans for doing a Facebook uh, group series. Um, so guys who are following me on YouTube, if you guys have not joined me uh, or the other fans of the Macross community around the world, on Macross Space Time Day Culture, the Facebook group, the link will be in the description down below. Do join us there and have lots of fun um, talking about Macross and even sharing maybe your cosplays, your, your fan arts, your 
you know, special handicraft works of the Valkyries of the series. Whatever you want to share there, just do post it up there. Um, but do remember, when there is a group, there are rules. Or rather a community, there is rules. Please do give the rules a read before you do post up any of your special um, content that you wish to share with the world. Uh, Alright, so with all that said, let's move down to the actual pooling of the gacha. Um, we're going to do up to step 4 as usual because step 5 is just pointless. This is just the standard gacha uh, rates with the standard, uh, I mean the cost of pulling a template gacha as well. Alright, so 300 singing stones and normal rate. So this is just discounted, no special up uh, on this current template pool. The loading bar is pretty pointless on this account because this is a brand new account. So there are a lot of missing episode plates that I have not gotten before. So 3 Valkyries just like that. I wonder how many red boxes we will obtain. So we do get 3 red boxes. I wonder if any of them will actually evolve. But so far, ooh, this is a brand new plate that I have never seen before. So yeah, I have not seen this in my main account as well. So. Um, so far, usually uh, when it comes to normal raids, it's very rare that a red box will actually evolve to a rainbow one. So, so far we've seen two of them, and well, but I'm not pre I'm not surprised at why they didn't evolve at all. So this might be an entire three red box pool. Here we go, the last one. So there we go, we have all three red box pool. But we do get this plate evolve on the brand new account, which is pretty awesome if you think about it. Ooh, Seika Hiko. There we go. Boop. So have you guys not seen this episode plate evolve before? There you go, you have your eye candy for just a short moment. Alright, so let's move on to step 2. Now step 2 do, uh, does come with a, a big red up. Um, so this step 2 is pretty well known as the standard um, brand new gacha raid. So if you guys have pulled before a brand new gacha, this step 2 is pretty much the same thing as pulling a brand new gacha that is introduced. So let's do this 500 singing stones with a big red up. So I wonder whether we will pull uh, Mikumo or Milin's episode plates. Who knows? One, two, three. So still three planes. I wonder how many red boxes we will obtain. Uh, one so far, maybe two. Oh my goodness, it's just one. Okay, let's skip. Oh, this is brand new. I've not seen this before as well. Not in my main account. Uh, this as well, brand new to me. Okay, let's skip all the common stuff. There's only one red box, so I wonder when it will show up. There we go. So no evolution with the red box. Oh, this is an exclusive brand new episode plate for this gacha. Which is pretty exciting. I love this image. <laughs> How often do you actually see um, Ikaru having such a blissful face being kissed by Minmei? Never! <laughs> Not even in Do You Remember Love? Oh my goodness. Uh, well, they do kiss on screen, but you don't get to see his expression while being kissed because they are kissing mouth to mouth. So, uh, yeah, I guess this is a pretty big fan service for um, first generation Macross fans. Um, but sadly to say, most of them do not play Utah Macross. Most of them. Um, that I know of, I mean, in my own circle of Macross friends. So. <laughs> Yeah, step 3. So this is another discounted pool. Um, it doesn't have the big red up. Um, it's just 400 stones for 10 plates. So yeah, so I wonder if we actually get any 5 star plates from this pool. It's pretty generous already. There we go. 1, 2, 3. So no 4, 5. We've been sticking with 3 planes all the way. Alright, 1 red box. We have another. Well, we got four, so there is pretty high chance it might get evolved. Here we go, first one. So no evolution with the first one. We get Makina. It's pretty nice. Here we go, second red box. No evolution. We get second Makina, so we do get to see Makina evolve. Oh, that's pretty awesome. So we get two five star plates. Uh, sorry, no, four star plates evolving to five star. 
within this gacha video itself. Alright, here comes the next one. Oh, Ranka. Uh, I'm always happy to see Ranka, even though it's an uh, old plate. What's up, Ranka? Hey, Mirage! So, pretty nice. Three best girls in one video. <laughs> or rather, one pool. So, uh, Makina is not exactly a best girl, but the VA is my best girl. <laughs> Nozomiru is super awesome. Okay. Um, yeah, there we go. So, and we are off to the next one, which is the last pool. Um, the step 4 is basically what you want to go for because it guarantees you a 5 star episode plate. Um, so there is a chance to obtain one or two more 5 star plates if you are pretty lucky. But so far, all the step up gachas that I've done, um, it hasn't been that, um, I would say, auspicious or um, lucky, I guess. So. Let's see whether this time round it will change a, uh, it will do some change of luck. Here we go, the final last gacha pool. One, two, three. So we still haven't broken out of the three pin uh factor. Yeah, oh wow, we got two five star plates. So yeah, I guess that's pretty awesome so far. Out of all the step up videos I've done. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty. That's a new play I've never seen before as well. Not even in my main account. All right, so we should be get coming to our five star play now. I guess. Come on, don't keep us waiting. So no evolution on a red box though. Okay. There we go. Our first five star, and we do get one of Min Mei's plates, which is the main factor of this gacha video, I guess, because it's Min Mei's birthday step up. So, yeah, but I'm. After all that we've gone through. Woo! Now, okay. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with this one because I love the art on this particular Minmay plate. It's not from anywhere. Um, not from the TV series, not from the movie. So, it is an exclusive episode plate. Um, just for old time across. Hey, we do have enough points for Hikaru's Valkyrie. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the Minmay plate that we just pulled. Um, because of the lovely art, but you know, after what we have read through on the Uta Macross Wiki, sadly to say, in terms of play, none of Min Mei's plays meet up to expectations. Well, or rather, meet up to my expectations. Um, I'm not sure for you guys. Um, so yeah, uh, because most of the plays do not hit the factor of being able to be used for high score challenges. Um, they are all more for casual play or maybe achieving something in mind, like the missions and all that. So guys, let me know what you think about all the episode plates available within Min Mei's Step Up Gacha. Let me know down in the description below. Or not, not the description. You can't. You guys can't add anything in the description. I mean, down in the comments below. Uh, and yeah, do let me know if you like all the information I've shared with you guys in this Gacha video. Uh, by hitting the like button or even commenting down below. Uh, do share the video to your friends if you find this video informative and maybe it's something that they should know before pulling the gacha banner if they haven't done so yet. Alright, and of course subscribe to the channel if you want more informative Utah Macross videos just like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross video and I hope you all the best for your step up gacha if you're deciding to pull because, well, looking at what I've just done, it is definitely not worth the 1700 singing stones. Bye!